this is a follow-up to my last video called More Than Meets the Eye. This is naturally called Robots in Disguise. Um, and again, apologies for if there's more ambient noise than usual. There's a train whistle going by now. Anyway, I think some people were misled about what my problem was with the first Transformers movie. It's not that it had so much action and explosions and, and all of that. It's because, I mean, those are fine. I mean, I, I like that shit as much as the next person. It's just that it had no substance to back it up. The If you haven't seen the Transformers movie, I'm going to ruin it for you, but I'm not really ruining anything for you. The the Aside from the, you know, the two factions of robots battling each other, you have nerdy, uh, socially awkward teenager played by Shia LaBeouf, who I personally... It's not so much that I just absolutely despise him, it's just that I don't like him. He doesn't have... He doesn't have that leading actor quality about him. I, I, I just don't like him, and I don't want to see him in any more movies, and he, he's all of a sudden getting all these parts, and I, they, they all seem to relate back to Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg produced uh, the, the first Transformers movie. He obviously directed Indiana Jones. Um, I think one of the other recent movies that, that Child of Buff was in was done by DreamWorks, which uh, uh, Steven Spielberg, uh, he doesn't own solely, but he's one of the, the principal owners of DreamWorks uh, Studios. And I don't know what it is if just in the opinion of Steven Spielberg, Shia LaBeouf just gives great head or something, or, or what what the, their relationship is, but I don't think he's a good actor. I don't like him. I, I just don't like him as an actor. And so the very fact that he's in the Transformers movie pisses me off. Um, but anyway, Shia LaBeouf plays a socially awkward teenager, cliche in and of itself, who is infatuated with the, the beautiful preppy chick cliche, you know, this all, it's totally cliche, and of course, wh who is Megan Fox's character going out with but the high school jock captain of the football team? Because who else would the, the beautiful girl that the socially awkward teenager is in love with be going out with other than the captain of some sports team? Okay, I mean, it, it's so... It's so cliche and it's so hackney. It's just, it's fucking bullshit. And then through this like, you know, long string of events, they're they're put together and they fall in love. And you find out that you know she really has troubles. That you know her dad's an asshole. This like gives her character that much more depth and blah 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 blah. It's it's all it's just so fucking bad. And it's like it's painful to watch at points because it's just like. Oh, you, you see where it's going, it, 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 it's going down the same road as every other movie that, that is, has uh, gone in this direction, you know, or, or has those elements. And, and so, yeah, it, there was nothing, uh, so, it's, it, again, it's, it's not the fact that it's, you know, explosions in, in all this drama, it's, that's all there is to it. And the only thing, the only other thing is just a, a you know, a bunch of cliches. Um, yeah, so that, that is why I didn't like the Transformers movie. It's not because of the act, all the action and the explosions. Um, yeah, the, the, I, on my other shoulder I have a G.I. Joe tattoo, uh, which was also the big cartoon that I was into as a kid, and neither of these are complete, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna sort of incorporate them into a half sleeve. Uh, but, uh, at any rate, yeah, they're coming out with a G.I. Joe movie this later in the summer, which, again, I, I'm not, I don't have really high hopes for it either. Hopefully, it's better than the Transformers movie. It has, uh, What's her name? It's not Selma Hayek. It was Selma. No, not Selma Blair. It has. It has a decent actor. It has some decent actress, and it has uh, what? What the hell is his name as General Hawk? Uh, that guy, and, and and of course Christopher Eccleston, or Ecclestein, wherever you want to pronounce his last name, who was the Ninth Doctor. Um, if you don't know what that means, then you're just not nerdy enough. Uh, but 
so I, I mean I, I like all of those actors, but some of the other character, you know, some of the other people are like Damon Wayans, or this guy from a dance movie is Duke. Ugh. Yeah, so I, I mean I'm going I'm going in with low expectations to that, but I'll probably see it anyway.